Hello queens and kings, thank you so much for clicking my video. Today's wig is brought to you by Ali Pro Hair. The direct website link will be in the description box as well as the specs. The wig came in that clear baggie on the outside of the bag. It states a few things about the wig that I have, which is the lace is HD, size medium, hair density 180%, with a 13 by 4 parting space, and length is 22 inches. They were kind of to send this silk baggie so I can store the wig in it, and they also sent a few goodies as well. Two snug fit headbands. Another headband as well, which I've been seeing going around that's really popular. A headscarf. Five D mink lashes, which are a little too long for me. A elastic band. A cream color wig cap that comes with two pieces. And this card with some helpful tips on how you can take care of your wig. I used this wig for a wig class, so I already went ahead and customized the wig off camera. This is what it's looking like. The texture of the hair is on the silky side. It feels so nice and smooth. And the only product I have on the hair is this Awapui Mirror Smooth Gloss thing. It's something I use to just help protect the hair while I flat iron it. I already went ahead and bleached the knots on the inside of the wig. It's a 13 by 4 parting space. You get two combs behind the parting space, another comb in the nape area. There is adjustable straps there as well. First, I'm going to cut the lace that's in the nape area because it's just not necessary. Right there is where I hooked my adjustable straps. And this is how the hairline comes when you get it. And when you get it, the knots do not come bleached. You guys, it took some serious work to get where I have the hairline today. But I'm going to tell you guys the secret on how I got my hairline the way it is. Definitely stay tuned for that. You can install the wig with the lace still attached, but just to make it more easy for me, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lace from now. I take my scissors and cut right along the hairline. Be careful and try not to cut into the hairline because that can cause shedding and mess up the shape of the hairline. If the quality on this video is coming off bright on your screen, then I am so sorry. I got an iPhone 12 Pro Max and the front camera is just not for me. So this would be the last video I record with that phone. Wow, all I did was cut the lace. And look how good that looks. Hmm. Okay. What's next? What's next? Hmm. The lace is blending good with my skin. I don't have any product on this on the um lace. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit of foundation on it though. The product I am going to use to help lay my lace down is the Olive Oil Super Hold Spray. Before I go in and blow dry that side, I realized the baby hairs is a little too thick for my liking. So I'm just going in and plucking out some of the baby hairs.
while you watch me blow dry i'm just gonna let you know real quick i saw some baby hairs that i was inspired to do by alaya taylor she is a awesome wig slayer if you want to know more about her deets is coming right up she have classes for only a hundred dollars stay tuned for more info boo To help style my baby hairs, I'm going with the Eco Styling Gel. Alea put me onto this too, and I like it. It's really smooth on the baby hairs, and it helps shape the baby hairs the way you want because it's so smooth on the hair. To help get that little swoop the curl on the forehead, I'm just using my finger and pushing it with the edge comb to help make a little round circle. I started laughing because I was like, I hope this looked good on me. But now that I'm doing the sides, I'm cutting down the baby hairs. And I cut it to at least the point by my eyebrow, where my eyebrow arch. For the side baby hairs, I'm just making little swoop of C's. You just take your brush and just lightly flick your wrist and make a C. That corner right there could have been held down some more with some hard hole spray, but I didn't go back in. I was still trying to fight it and get the baby hairs down. When I do the left side of my baby hairs on myself, a lot of you guys know this, I could never get it to match the other side sometimes. Also, this side is a little bit more thinner than the other side. I should have added more hair now that I'm watching it over, but I still went in and tried to make it work. I need a little bit more practice on the baby hairs, but just showing you what I know, so hopefully it helps somebody out there. The parting space will look a little bit better with some powder. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 355. And this also helps hide my stocking cap underneath. I am all done. And like I said before, one side of baby hairs is thicker than the other side. And I actually like the thinner side more. It looks just a little bit more natural. Right here is my end results on this wig, and I hope you like it. Again, this wig is from Ali Pearl Hair. I have worked with this company in the past, and they have some really good quality hair. Like I said before, I used this wig for a class, so I did not get to show how I customize it fully on camera. The information to that class is coming right up. I am just going to say my quick thoughts on the wig. When I received the wig, it had no foul odor. The hairline doesn't really come pre-plucked. And when I was bleaching the knots, I had to bleach the knots twice so I could get it to match my skin tone. 
The density of the hair feels like 180%. I love how when I split the hair in the back, there is no track showing. I washed the wig, it had no running dye. I left the wig to air dry overnight and when I was styling it the next day, it had some shedding hair, but the shedding was medium. It could be due to the fact that I went in and plucked a lot of hair from the hairline. The lace is really soft and thin. I believe it's really easy to blend in with skin. I don't have any makeup on my forehead because I don't like styling baby hairs and then there's a whole bunch of makeup on my forehead getting caught up with the gel and it's just not a pretty sight. I do not sleep with this wig. I take it off when I get home so it can last long. I've been wearing this wig for about a week and a half and the shedding got lower and it's holding up really good so far. Whoa, 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 I love it, mm. oh, it's been a while since I had some really dope sleek hair with the lace just super melted. This looks so good. This looks so good, you guys. Ah, uh, let's get into the quality of this hair. Oh, baby. So the texture of this hair is on the silky side. Really pretty. The hair color is a natural black. It looks like a 1B right now, but if I was to go in the sunlight, you could probably see the little hints of brown in there. The lace. This lace. This is some good lace. Some really good lace. I'm so sorry that I did not show you guys how I plucked the hairline. The only reason why I didn't do it is because I used this wig for a wig class and the teacher showed me how to pluck it and she made it so easy and I'm about to put you guys on, okay? This class was only $100. In the class, she showed you how to pluck bleach knots. No, hold on, let me do it in order. She showed you the braid foundation of how you should do your braid pattern, which is just straight back cornrows. She showed you how to put the ball cap method on she show you how to bleach the knots and make sure it's like bleached correctly that you cannot see like one black knot. She show you how to pluck the hairline and she show you how to curl hair also. All of that for $100. She show you how to install the wig on the client. Her name is Alea Taylor, and she also sells her own glue, and the glue is a very strong and good. I'm going to leave her Facebook right here. You can contact her on Facebook. I found her in the Wig Slayers, wig slayers group. Sorry, tongue tie. I found her in the Wig Slayers group, and if you don't know that group, I will leave that below as well. If you're not in that group and you are like a super fan of wigs, then you're missing out that wig group is so popping and so supportive and so helpful i forgot to mention that the class is hands-on or you can sit there and take notes and she don't move on to the next step until all her students got it correctly and is caught up to her you guys are probably also like girl you know how to pluck why are you taking a class to me you could always learn something more and i took a long break from doing virgin hair wigs i started doing a lot of synthetic wigs so when i started hopping back on virgin hair wigs and i started plucking i was a little rusty i was like uh-uh i need something that's gonna help me get back on track because i don't know what i'm doing right now and god was amazing because this popped up on the wig slayers group and i was like bam you learn all this all this for a hundred dollars if you guys have any questions though feel free to comment below and i get back to them as soon as possible and like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video i have so much more videos to come a lot of helpful videos stay tuned 
and i'll see you guys in my next video